If you saw a few videos back, I posted a gray wolf. It was a short two, three minute video. Uh, and basically I was announcing that that my friend John Bonacera, that's Catskill John on Instagram, and every fly tying forum ever created, they were going to be doing like a fly giveaway with some fly shops up here in the Catskills. And basically if you place an order with them, you use a code, the code's going to be Catskills. Easy to remember. You're going to get two flies, one from him, one from me. And I, um, we're doing a few shops, but we're doing one at a time. The first shop's going to be Daddy, Daddy Flies. It's in Livingston Manor, New York. I'm lucky to live very close to there, and I go in there all the time, and it's a great shop. And one of the interesting things about the shop is, is that it is the oldest family-owned fly shop in the United States. I don't know if it's the world. Possibly. There might be one older in the UK or Scotland or something like that. But as far as the United States is concerned, it's the oldest family-run shop. It's been around for more than 90 years. And it is historically, I mean, it's it as far as the cat schools are concerned. Um, it's, 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 it's incredible. There's no doubt about it. And um, they actually just opened a new location in Livingston Manor. And it's the biggest fly shop now in the cat skills too as far as square footage are concerned. That's the first one. If you place an order with them starting right now and you use the code CATSKILLS, you're gonna get two flies. Like I said, one from John, one from me. And I wanted to actually, uh, I have all the flies right here, so I'm gonna go through them all. Okay, so let's start. Let's start, let's start with the flies. This is the one you know, because this was in that, that video that uh, sort of announced it. That's the gray wolf. Right, and uh, I'll show you one of John's next here. This is one you could get, which is uh, Atherton number two, John Atherton, the number two dry fly. This is this is from the the book, The Fly and the Fish. If you don't have this book, it's uh, it's it's a it's a really important book as far as fly tying is concerned, and just fly fishing in general. And uh, he's got a lot of dry flies and nymphs profiled in it. Basically, like, Atherton number three nymph, Atherton number four nymph. And they're all Atherton with a number. And um, some people think that's crazy that he did that. It's actually, I don't know, I think it might be kind of smart. <laughs> I think it might be smart. I'm not sure. Um, another one from, from me you might get is this one. This is a red fox What's funny about this is that this is a red fox number two. So if you look at the Leonard Flies book, which is probably, in my opinion, the most important uh, fly tying book in trout fly tying, I think it's probably the most important. If you look at that book and you look up the red fox, there's two of them there. This one happens to be the number two version. And it's it's very, it's very, you rarely see a, a, a dry fly like this because this is, teal wing you don't see it and you don't see a wood duck tail you don't you don't really see either of those now this one this this is an interesting one it's john this is a davidson special now it might be tough to see on camera but this body is like has like a a green um you know like a white or a green it's like a, a mixture in there or like a cream and a green and it's a really it's an interesting fly and it's just about a size and about the same size as the as the uh, red fox too it's about a number 14 uh, that's a that's a cool fly now um, I also have a couple of these And this is a uh, Dave Brandt's Moose Mane Adams. So this is an Adams tied instead of a body of hair's ear or, or whatever dubbing it usually is. It's it's two Moose Mane fibers, a black and a white. And uh, everything else is the same as an Adams. If you don't know, Dave Brandt recently passed away. He um, um, he, he was a friend of mine. He was a, he was a good friend of my, my wife. My wife worked at the Fly Fishing Museum for a couple of years full time. And she was basically the point person on 
pretty much everything that happened there. And Dave helped her out a lot. So he meant a lot to me, meant a lot to my wife. And that's just one of the flies that he came up with. Now, here's one from John you could get. This thing, I never heard of this. I'm going to tie it on the channel for you. It is a very, very cool and interesting fly. It's called a Sinberg. And it's it's an it's a in the style of a never sink skater pattern. And John is the one that found out about this fly. He did a lot of research, talked to a lot of people, and finally figured out all the info on this. And maybe I should link to something in the description that explains it, uh, of all the research that he did. But it's very cool. And, and the, the interesting thing about this, obviously the, the oversized hackle in the front is obviously very unique. But what I think it, what's more unique about the size is that the way you tie it on, it's not wrapped like a normal hackle. And that, that's, 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 when I do the video, you'll see, but it's, it's a different way to do things. And it actually, if you do it the way this, this is supposed to be done, the fly is extremely light. There's no big stem tied in there. You can tie it on a very small, this is size 14. You can't wrap a wood duck feather around a size 14. It can't be done. So there's a cool technique to it. Sinberg. That's, that's a, that's a really that's a really cool fly, and you, you'll never see anybody really tie it but John. Now, let's say this one here, this. So this is a Pink Lady Bucktail streamer. One thing I wanted to do was was, uh, was put a few little, little bucktail streamers in there. And uh, so this is a pink body, two different types of bucktail. One cool thing about bucktail is, is that uh, it was used a lot back in the day. All these streamers, these little streamers, all had bucktail on them. And that wolf was bucktail. It's the same color as this. Same, same from, just from a bucktail, the center of, a, of, a, of a, just a natural bucktail. And it's got a tip of tail, which is cool. Now, the last one that John tied up is, if you don't know what that is, that's a Catskill Cannonball. And that's a nymph that he fished a lot when he was fishing nymphs. Um, nowadays, he's fishing dries. He goes back and forth, but um, this is this is basically his nymph, and it's in the new Vala book, Favorite Flies of the Catskills. And um, you can you can read about you know a little couple stories about this fly, him fishing the fly, and hmm, when did he come up with this one? It's definitely three, four years ago, I think. And I tie, I tie this too. This is like one of the only nymphs that 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 I fish. It's 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 cool. It's really cool. And you can see it. The 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 name, the cannonball, was basically because uh, it's just a really big bead on on a very thin hook. And that's uh, and I'm happy to say that I was a part of naming that, which is really cool. Um, and the last one from me. And the last one, actually, completely, is this. This is another bucktail streamer. This is beaver kill. So there's a lot of beaver kills out there. There's a dry fly. Uh, I think there's a wet fly. Mm, is there a wet fly? I think there is. And there's a bucktail, bucktail streamer called a beaver kill. And this is it right here. Very simple. And these two bucktails that I tied are in, an, are in a Vala book. Um, which is like um, like classic streamers. That's that's the name of the book, classic streamers. So again, two two flies. You're gonna get them in a box like this. So I have all these clear boxes. They're labeled with the names of the flies. And something else. So this one says Davidson Special. Davidson Special and a and a pink lady. And one thing that I I have everything laid out and I have everything labeled is, is that every box is going to have a dry fly in it. So you're not going to get two streamers or an infinite streamer. You're always going to get a, a a dry fly and something else. And actually, there is one other one I completely forgot. John tied twelve of of everything, but I didn't tie twelve. I actually have this one. 
this is this wasn't uh, Val book. Um, favorite flies of the Catskills. This is a spinning spinning banshee, so it's a it's a green drake spinner that I tie, and it's it's this is a single piece of, a single clump of deer hair. So it's tied forward, and then you wrap this back, and then you cut most of the butt ends off, and then you pull it through and split it. So it's and then you leave the head almost like an elk hair caddis. So it's a single clump uh, of deer hair. And that's it. So those are the flies. Again, place an order with Daddy, and just use the code Catskills. Any order doesn't matter how much. And I think right now they're even doing fifteen dollars. You get free shipping. So it's like, I mean, you, you order basically damn near anything, and you're gonna get free shipping, and you're gonna get two two flies free, one from John, one from me, and it's gonna be in the box. So I'm I'm taking all these flies, I'm packing them up, and I'm bringing them over to Daddy. So it's you're gonna get them in the order. So you place an order, you're going to get two flies and whatever you ordered, and you're probably going to get free shipping because $15, it's tough not to spend $15 when, uh, when, when you buy some fly tying material or flies or, or, or I'll tell you another thing, if you spend, how about this, if you spend more than $250, $250, meaning you buy a, a rod or you buy a pair of waders or, mm, do they make, does, does Hodgman have a pair of boots that's over $250? i am not sure. But if you spend more than $250, John and I will both send you. They won't be in the order, but we will send you. Just uh, send us the receipt. You know, send a picture of the receipt or something on Instagram. Use the code CATSKILLS. We'll send you two salmon flies. So I'll tell you a salmon fly, and John will tell you a salmon fly. Uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's pretty good. Two salmon flies if you spend more than $250. Um, so... So that's it. That's what's happening right now. There's how many? Eight dozen flies here, so that's 48 orders. So call it 50 orders. Essentially, the first 50 orders, you use the code CATSKILLS, you're going to get the two flies. And if you spend more than 250, you're going to get two salmon flies. And um, we're just doing our best to try and help out the fly shops. I mean, I can't, it's hard to explain how important fly fishing is to the CATSKILLS. Tourism is the only thing that really keeps the Catskills alive, and like the Catskills itself, meaning like a lot of people work for the for the county, a lot of people work for the government. It's all kind of like you either work for the county or the government, or you're in tourism, or you're not working. That's really what it comes down to. So, fly fishing is so important. I mean, it it. I mean, the restaurants depend on it. Obviously, the fly shops depend on it. But the, the hotels, the motels, everything. Fly, shop, fly fishing is really, really, really big here. And since you really can't travel and everything's shut down, uh, the fly shops are getting hurt. But you order from Daddy Online and you're going to get it. Uh, you're going to get it in the mail. So I appreciate your help. If anybody can, can help them out, that would be great. So, Daddy Flies, the links will be in the description. I appreciate it. Thanks.